The Story In the town of Bethlehem, there lived a woman named Naomi. She was once happily married to a man named Elimelech, and they had two sons, Marlon and Chilion. However, a severe famine struck the land, forcing Naomi and her family to seek refuge in the foreign land of Moab. In Moab, the family faced new challenges. Elimelech passed away, leaving Naomi a widow. Her sons, Marlon and Chilion, married two Moabite women named Orpah and Ruth. However, tragedy struck again as both sons also died prematurely, leaving Naomi heartbroken and alone in a foreign land. Naomi found herself in a difficult and lonely position, grieving not only the loss of her husband but also mourning the untimely deaths of her sons. The weight of sorrow pressed heavily on her shoulders, and the foreign land felt colder and more unwelcoming. As the days turned into months and the months into years, Naomi's grief deepened. She began to feel a profound emptiness, a void that seemed insurmountable. The laughter and joy that once filled her home were replaced by the echoes of sorrow. Her daughters-in-law, Orpah and Ruth, also experienced the pain of losing their husbands. Despite the shared grief, a bond had formed between them. Naomi, realizing the challenges that lay ahead, felt a sense of responsibility for these young women. She pondered their futures and considered the harsh realities they would face if they chose to stay with her. One day, Naomi called Orpah and Ruth to her side. With a heavy heart and tear-filled eyes, she spoke to them. My daughters, I have known the depths of sorrow, and my heart aches for the pain you, too, have endured. But the road ahead is long and uncertain. I release you from any obligation to me. Return to your homes, to your people, and may you find comfort and joy there. Orpah, after a tearful farewell, chose to return to her people. However, Ruth clung to Naomi, her commitment unwavering. Naomi, moved by Ruth's loyalty, acknowledged the depth of the bond they shared. Look, Naomi said, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and her gods. Go back with her. But Ruth replied with words that would echo through history, Don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Naomi, touched by Ruth's loyalty, accepted her choice. Together, they embarked on a journey back to Bethlehem setting the stage for a story of resilience, kindness, and unexpected blessings that would unfold in the chapters to come. 2. Ruth's mind and heart when she uttered the words, You stay, I will stay. When Ruth uttered the words, You stay, I will stay, to Naomi. Her voice carried not only the weight of those words but also the depth of her emotions and the strength of her commitment. In that moment, Ruth's mind and heart were undoubtedly filled with a unique blend of sorrow, loyalty, and determination. Her mind and heart sorrow. Ruth had experienced profound loss, her husband, and husband's family loss. The weight of grief rested heavily on her shoulders. The choice to stay with Naomi meant choosing to navigate the difficult path of loss together. B. Loyalty. Ruth's declaration reflects an unwavering loyalty to her mother-in-law. Despite the challenges and uncertainties ahead, Ruth chose to stand by Naomi's side. Her loyalty spoke of a connection that went beyond the traditional bonds of family forged through shared trials and mutual support. 
determination. Ruth's words also conveyed a strong sense of determination. In the face of adversity, she made a conscious decision to remain with Naomi, embracing the challenges that lay ahead. Her commitment to staying mirrored her resilience and determination to face the future together. D. Empathy. Ruth's choice was not solely about her own grief and loss, but also about understanding Naomi's pain. By saying, you stay, I will stay, Ruth expressed a deep empathy for her mother-in-law's suffering and a willingness to share in that burden. E. Hope. Beneath the sorrow and challenges, there was a glimmer of hope. Ruth's commitment to staying signified a belief in the possibility of a better future, a future where they could find solace and support in each other. In summary, when Ruth spoke those words, her mind and emotions were a complex tapestry of sorrow, loyalty, determination, empathy, and hope. The phrase encapsulated not just a moment in time but the beginning of a transformative journey. Where two women, bound by shared experiences, would navigate life's challenges together. 3. Naomi's mind and heart when she said, I release you from any obligation to me. Return to your homes. When Naomi uttered these words to her daughters-in-law, expressing her willingness to release them from any obligation. Her mind and heart carried a poignant mixture of selflessness, concern for their well-being, and a deep sense of sorrow. Her mind and heart selflessness. Naomi's statement reflects a selfless act. Despite the profound loss she had experienced, losing her husband and both sons, she prioritized the welfare and future happiness of her daughters-in-law. Her concern for their lives and futures took precedence over any desire for companionship. B. Concern for well-being. Naomi's words convey a genuine concern for the future happiness and comfort of Orpa and Ruth. She understood the challenges they would face if they continued on this difficult journey with her. And her desire for them to find solace and joy elsewhere demonstrated a maternal care for their well-being. Sorrow and resignation. Beneath the surface of selflessness and concern, there was likely a deep sense of sorrow and resignation in Naomi's heart. She had experienced profound loss and faced an uncertain future. Releasing her daughters-in-law was also an acknowledgement of the challenges ahead and a recognition of the harsh realities they would encounter. D. Wishing for comfort and joy. Naomi's wish for Orpah and Ruth to find comfort and joy expressed a longing for them to experience happiness and fulfillment. It revealed a motherly desire for their lives to be filled with positive experiences and a sense of contentment. Even if it meant they would no longer be by her side. E. Acknowledgement of choice. Naomi's words also acknowledged the agency of Orpah and Ruth. By saying, return to your homes, to your people, she recognized their right to make choices for their own lives. It was an invitation for them to decide their own paths, unburdened by a sense of obligation to her. In summary, Naomi's mind and heart carried a complex array of emotions. Selflessness, concern, sorrow, resignation, and a motherly wish for the well-being and happiness of her daughters-in-law. This moment in the narrative marks a significant turning point and sets the stage for the choices that Orpah and Ruth would make in response. 4. Conclusion and Summary The bond between Naomi and Ruth as mother-in-law and daughter-in-law is a testament to the enduring power of loyalty, selflessness, and shared resilience. In the face of immense adversity, Naomi, having experienced profound loss, opened her heart to Ruth. Ruth, in turn, exemplified unwavering commitment and compassion by choosing to stand by Naomi's side, uttering the heartfelt words. You stay, I will stay. Together, 
they embarked on a journey marked by mutual support, overcoming challenges, and discovering unexpected blessings. Their relationship serves as a timeless example of the strength that can emerge from deep, familial connections and the transformative impact of steadfast love and devotion. Thank you so much for watching. Your subscriptions and shares fuel our channel's growth and if there's a biblical character you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment.